Hey everyone, Once Bitten here. So we go to Game 2 of Southern Assault 2016. Of course, it's my Beast Herds army. And I couldn't believe it. I'm playing the Dwarven Holds army that I played just less than a week prior. If you look at my battle reports, just go two or three back. And I played this guy. I absolutely tabled him. Like I think we stopped around turn 3. Which, in some ways, is kind of good. It's like, okay, I've beat this army. In, in other ways, it's like, uh, he's, uh, <laughs> it's really like it's bad, bad luck. Uh, to go against an army that you just beat so badly. So um, his list is pretty much the same. His tactics have changed a lot. I think he decided after that game that it's that with the list he has, he needs just to, to castle in the corner. So um, I pretty much let him um, deploy his stuff first so that I could at least get as close to him as possible. Uh, the scenario in this, we're playing... Um, the, the tournament organizer borrowed the... Um, blood and glory uh, scenario from Warhammer Fantasy 8th edition. So the whole notion of, of uh, breaking your opponent based on his general and, and banners is in play. And it's worth 800 points to the first person to break his opponent and 400 points to this if you uh, do it second. So something to keep in mind. The lists are posted in the description, um, but real brief. He's got some Forge Wardens on the right. Uh, Kingsguard, he's got his King General uh, here. Behind him, he's got two organ guns and a cannon, a bunch of graybeards, the battle standard bear, crossbows, and there's an engineer attached to them. I've got my giant jabberwock, feral hounds, minotaurs. Um, there's a giant in front of the gore attack, then there's the gore attack. Uh, chariot on the hill, another chariot, another chariot, then my, my beast lord on a chariot behind him. Some more feral hounds. Then my big bunker with my BSB and my spellcaster, uh, Razor Tusk, and the Centaur Chieftain. So I get to Vanguard up. So this is tough. I mean, I, I, I kind of like putting pressure on my opponent, but there's nothing up there that's going to do my opponent any harm. And uh, I was thinking, you know, what's, what I'm really doing is allowing them to shoot at some things before the rest of my army uh, gets up there. Uh, but I do have the, the Dark Rain, so... You know, he's not going to do too much damage. So the dwarves go first. They shoot, and yeah, they do one wound to this giant and one wound to the feral hounds, and that's it. Um, these are the feral hounds on the right. So um, I'm sure that was disappointing for my opponent, but it's going to take me a while to get up there. So beast herds turn one. I move up, as you can see. One unit of feral hounds is... Really what I'm trying to do is is redirect his main troops from charging something I don't want them to charge. I know that his, his king guard can charge the feral hounds, kill him, overrun, and would probably hit that giant and be in the flank. But if they did that, he's going to get countercharged by Gortak and Minotaur, so I'm not really too awful concerned about that. Overall, I like uh, the pressure that seems to be on him. In the magic phase, nothing of significance happens. My centaur chieftains really can't. There's not a great target for him to shoot at, especially without getting killed in return. So he's not doing much. We go to Dwarven Hold's turn two, and he's just shifting things around. I mean, when you castle, there's not a whole lot of movement you can do. And then, I don't want to say disaster strikes, but it was rough. So he kills my Razor Tusk, and on Leadership 9 Rerollable, my BSB Spellcaster and this whole unit of Wild Horns flees. Which just sucks. I've, this unit, I kind of like this unit against his Kingsguard. Um, I think they lose time after time, but I think I can be steadfast for a long time and then get some counter charges in. So I was really hoping to get these guys up in his business and start locking them up. And they are running the wrong direction. Then he kills one of my giants, and then he kills another one of my giants, and I am... I'm bleeding I'm bleeding monsters left and right, and my bunker is way the hell out of where I need them to be. So we go to Beast Herd's turn two. Jabberwock on the left charges his crossbows. I kind of like that. I think I easily win it. I would actually like to not break them this round of combat and um, kill them to a man maybe next time through Thunderstomp, and then on my turn be able to charge stuff. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for there. Uh, Minotaurs tried to charge his Greybeards. I think that would go really well for me, but they failed it, and the Gortak charged his Kingsguard. Not ideal, but I think the Gortak has a chance of sticking around just because he can regrow wounds. So there's that. There's the failed charge. That would have been... That would have been so, so nice. So nice. But it wasn't to be. This one, I just... I'm going to strike before him. I'm putting all my close combat attacks into his general. I know he's hard to kill. 
but I'm, I'm still going to get impact hits and thunder stomp on the unit. And if I kill his general, that just goes a long, long way towards helping the cause. Um, and then if I, if I fluff, as long as I don't get killed, I mean, I'm stubborn nine, so I'm not too worried about that. And after combat, yeah, um, actually, my, my Jabberwock did better than I wanted him to. I don't remember if my opponent was steadfast or not, but um, I'm assuming he wasn't. But regardless, he fled. And I could have gone off the board. And uh, so if I stay here, my opponent can shoot at me. Uh, but as long as I survive, I can start charging more machines, and I'm really going to wreck his day. Uh, if I go off the board, then he shoots at something else, then I come on the board, and then he can shoot at me. So I said, screw it, just stay on the board. Uh, over here, put two wounds on his general. My, I don't remember the details. My, I remember feeling that um, I should have done more, that he made some saves, but whatever. Um, I've taken three wounds. I didn't roll any sixes to wound. I think it wouldn't have mattered because I... Um, I didn't have any wounds at the time I rolled to wound. So my next round of fighting, I really, really, really need to roll some sixes. <laughs> That's all I ask. All right, so we go to Dwarves turn three. His movement was nothing. We go to the shooting phase, and he kills a couple Minotaurs. Then, yeah, the cannon opens up on the Jabberwock and kills it. Uh, and then we go to combat. I don't roll any sixes to wound, and he does exactly three wounds by Gortak and kills it. Darn it. Darn it. And I'm going to go back one. Yes, I had dogs right here. So he killed the dogs somehow, some way. Probably shot him to death. And we go to Beast Herds turn three. So I'm, I still have some stuff left. I'm just bleeding points left and right. So this time the Minotaurs do charge the Greybeards. He does a standard shoot. He's got throwing weapons at strength four. Being strength four is huge with throwing weapons. Kills two Minotaurs, one third of my unit going in. So that's getting kind of scary there. Um, chariots aren't able to do a whole lot yet. They're now finally getting in position. My BSB, again, he, they're, they're up there. I just don't want to be so close that he can um, charge the dogs and over and into me. So uh, my thinking at the time of this movement was that if he charges the dogs that will go to my right it turns out that wasn't quite accurate so we go here minotaurs make a bloody mess of things but but then the graybeards turn around and just just do a ton of wounds so i lost two minotaurs to shooting initially and two minotaurs to the stand and shoot that makes all the difference in the world if i had two minotaurs left three there total that would have meant a huge huge difference so go to dwarven turn four he charges the dogs um yeah, otherwise now he's going to start shooting me. So the Centaur Chieftain went up there. I think he was trying to pick off an Oregon gun, which I don't know what I was thinking because odds are, it's just odds are so bad that if anything good happening there, so he just gets killed. Uh, other shooting takes out a Chariot, takes out a Chariot, and he overruns, and the overrun takes it into my unit. So this is... my When I eyeballed it, I didn't think they could, but, but they did. So um, this is a matchup I haven't been worried about all game. But now the problem is I don't have anything in position to support. And I don't think I can win this. So he's going to charge in. I'm just going to try to to take it the first round of combat, then reform into horde formation, and then pop the strength four thing and just hope I can do enough wounds. Uh, I do have a lot more wounds than him. So we go to Beast Herd's turn four. Chariot charges an organ gun. Um, he goes straight ahead and then just, just wheels around 90 degrees. My general couldn't support the... Um, the BSB's unit. So he went into my opponent's BSB's unit. Um, I'm going to get into challenge with the BSB, and uh, I think just overall he'll be fine. I don't know if he can win as quickly as I need him to. So anyway, there's this. There's that. There's that. After combat, yeah, the chariot, I don't think he even kills it. Darn it. Uh, over here, impact hits killed a few guys. We get in the challenge, and it's kind of a big pillow fight. Yeah, there we go. Chariot can't even kill a dang organ gun. And yeah, he does he does some wounds. I reform. And I just I just need the strength four to to work and punch through armor and stuff. So we go to Dwarven turn five. My opponent is adamant that this is turn six. Um so we're playing it as I, I had the turn counter, I thought it was turn five, he thought it was turn six. We counted it up, determined it was turn six, which really sucks. So uh, we're just kind of pillow fight over here. I think I've done a wound to his BSB. He's done a wound to my general. Um, yeah, I kill 
the organ gun finally. So now my choice is to, is to charge another organ gun or go help out the Beast Lord. There's a lot of points in the gray beards of the BSB, so I'm going to do that. And over here, look at him. I did no wounds to him. I don't know. I don't remember what happened. I just couldn't get through the toughness and the armor save. It was so, so frustrating. So Beast Herds, turn five. Chariot charges the flank with the BSB. I really, really need, really, really, really need to do some impact hits, get some wounds in there so they're not steadfast, and just win combat. That's the BSB in that unit. I should be able to run them down. That's a huge point swing. Remember, we're playing Blood and Glory. So right now my opponent has two unit standards, a BSB and a general, so that's five. And I have a unit standard, a BSB and a general, that's four. If you get to three, that's a huge, huge point swing. And I'm going to back one. And I think that's just an action shot. And then we go to combat, and damn it all. The chariot goes in there, does nothing. Uh, General takes a wound, his BSB stays alive. And then the wild horns just suck. Uh, did a bunch of wounds. I lost combat. I was steadfast. They failed it, and they ran him down. So not only did I lose everything at that last turn, <laughs> not only did I lose everything, but I lost the fortitude. And so, yeah. So because I lost fortitude, it ended up being kind of a moot point. But I was just it was just killing me, that combat in the upper left of not being able to get wounds through, having the impact hits totally fluff, because if I had gotten that unit and won it, and if my BSB had stuck, everything's different. Now I'm ahead on points, and I get the fortitude break. As it is, my opponent's ahead on points, and he gets the fortitude. Ends up being a 20 to nil victory for my opponent. It was killing me. I really, I liked my position, even though I was bleeding points more than I wanted to. I liked my position most of the game, and then all of a sudden at the end, and we lose it. Um, I think playing one less turn didn't affect things too much. Um, my opponent wasn't going to get any more points, I don't think. So the question really was, could my general pull his head out and kill the darn BSB? And could I do just some more? My chariot's in a good position. He can't be attacked, but he can attack rake and file. Um, so if I could have broken that unit, that would have been a fairly big point swing if we played the full six turns. But who knows? Anyway, so very disappointing game two points-wise. It was a fun game. It wasn't that. It was just points-wise, a, a, a zero-point game just kills me for the tournament. And in a game that I that you thought was going pretty well was just very disheartening. But anyway, that's it. Thank hope you so you much it. for watching the video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. As you know, YouTube has a variety of functions you can use to interact with videos such as this. You can like or comment on the video. You can favorite it. You can share it. And of course, you can subscribe to the channel. And I encourage you to do any or all of those things as uh, a way of interacting between viewer and producer. Uh, as always, I'm, I appreciate your patronage on the channel and wish you all the best.